Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I've got the brand new MVP Disc Sports James Conrad Detour. The Detour is a disc that the MVP lineup, in my opinion, has desperately been needing for a long time. And when I think of like kind of flippy but mostly straight mid ranges in the MVP lineup, nothing that's really exactly in this slot comes to mind. Something I can release on Heiser get to go mostly dead straight through the entire flight and then have a little bit of fade at the end. I've actually never thrown a detour. And I'm really excited to test this one out today. 5.5 five, minus 2.1. We'll take a quick look at the side profile here. I really like how stamp is just simple and clean. 2021 World Champ detour. Very nice looking disc. It doesn't have quite as low a parting line as something like the Paradox or the Uplink. And those discs coming in at a minus 3 or minus 4 turn that makes a lot of sense. So let's release it up in the air on a slight hyzer and see if the brand new detour gets a little bit of turn in the mid flight here. That thing goes really far. So that had a nice little pickup, pretty much held to straight and then had a nice consistent fade at the end. I think I wanna try throwing it flat on the next throw, trust it a little bit more flat release and see if we can get to push longer and straighter for a longer period of time um, than with the highs release. So let's go grab it. We'll throw it a few more times. And yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how that thing flies on flat and on Anheuser lines as well. So I didn't really plan on comparing the detour to anything else today. I wanted it just to be like a straight up organic review, but I do think it's worth comparing it to the tangent and to the paradox. So I do want to show you guys the side profiles. I know a lot of people are probably bagging the Paradox right now because the OTB run is so cool. You can see the parting line on the Paradox is substantially lower. And this thing flies a lot more understable than this guy flies. This is pretty much release on any angle. It's always going to turn. This has a lot more integrity and almost seems to fly sort of buzz-like for me. For this slot in the MVP lineup, I've been enjoying the Tangent, which although is one speed slower, has a very similar side profile, but you can see it's a little more deep dish and definitely a little bit slower, but they have relatively similar flight characteristics. And I think a lot of people are bagging the tangent, um, but I think a lot of the tangent throwers will be throwing the detour, especially when it comes out in that baseline plastic, which is something I'm really excited to try as well, especially I'm also testing out the entropy in the electron plastic. I think the detour would be an awesome flyer in that electron plastic. So let's throw a tangent just so you guys can see how this guy flies if you don't own one. And then we'll throw the detour. <laughs> Has that same kind of flip up, but a little bit of integrity to fade at the end. And I think I wanted to try the detour a little bit more flat and see if it'll push straighter a little bit longer. <laughs> That's a fire mid. So on a flat release, it definitely had that full minus two turn. And I think it stayed on turn about twice as long as it did fading at the end of the flight. So flying very true to that minus two, one flight. Now I will show you guys how much more understable the Paradox is. I'm going to hit the left side of the fairway on a slight hyzer. It should pretty much stay turn the whole way. paradox i don't know what the flight numbers are for me it's like a minus four no matter how i throw it it's always going to go to the right but substantially more understable than the detour detour is definitely more of like a workhorse style mid-range that it's going to more hold the line you put it on and not deviate a ton as to where the paradox is going to deviate a lot and find its way into anheuser almost no matter how you throw it earlier in the video i kind of called this like the mvp buzz I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is the MVP Buzz SS. When thrown flat, it held that left to right moving turn for quite a long time through most of the flight. And the disc really almost had to get to the point where it's like ready to just fall out of the sky. It's lost all of its speed before it really started to swing back and fade at the end. This is that just workhorse point and shoot mid range that I honestly cannot live without. I bag multiple mid ranges in the bag to fulfill very similar, just like point and shoot lines. Just 
very slight differences in stability. Um, I'm a huge mid-range fan, and this is a top-tier workhorse mid-range that a lot of players are really going to like. Let's throw it one last time. I'm going to also go with that flat line again, see if we can get it to hold that beautiful turn in the mid-flight again. But if you guys haven't planned on getting one of these, I would definitely plan on checking one out because they're absolutely sick. I mean, that's just fire. That thing absolutely goes to um, from this golf green to that tee is pushing that 400 foot range. That's one of the farthest flying like point and shoot mids that I've ever thrown. I can't get a buzz to go that far. I can't get a rock to go that far. Um, but the detour absolutely on a rope is almost pushing, you know, 350, 360 feet for me, which is honestly quite impressive. And that's something that I'm going to put into my bag and see how it performs for me out on the course. So I can just punch hard and flat and just get that super controlled turn and then a slight little fade at the end. I can imagine myself being able to get a lot of really nice wooded birdies with that disc. Go use my discount code over at Power Grip USA. Unfortunately, Axiom and MVP products um, this is, you know, right from MVP and Axiom. They don't allow their products to be discounted on any websites. So unfortunately, you won't get a discount on any Axiom or MVP products. You will on anything else over at the website, but I will still get credit for the sale, which is really important to me um, as far as my sponsorship goes. So if you guys could use my discount code still, I would really, truly appreciate it. But unfortunately, on the MVP stuff, you won't be getting discounts. It's not just for me. It's for everybody who has a discount to any website. MVP does not allow those to be discounted. So unfortunately, that is the way it is. Hopefully MVP can shift that policy because honestly, I think it kind of sucks. Um, but the detour, certainly worth buying. So I would still go buy one. You could use my discount code just to help me track my sales. I would really appreciate it. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate each and every one of you who watches my videos. I'll see you guys in the next one and take care.